Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to pay part of a bill. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Okay, so first, why would you want to do this? Why do you want to pay part of a bill from a vendor? Well, this can happen pretty often in QuickBooks and in business because a uh, small business sometimes has some cash flow issues. And when I say cash flow issues, I just mean timing. So a customer hasn't paid, but you got some bills you got to pay. You just don't have the cash. All right, now, what a lot of business owners will do will just wait. Okay, I'm going to wait until I have enough money to pay this bill. And they don't communicate with their vendor. And this can cause problems. So in general, I think it's a better idea to at least pay something to the vendor to show goodwill and to maintain your terms with that vendor. Uh, because that way they get some money, they know you're trying, and you can let them know, hey, we're paying this, we're giving you a little bit of money on this bill, and we're going to pay this in full as soon as we get paid from our customers. So this happens all the time. So uh, silence is not a good thing. You don't want to uh, not communicate with your vendors and you want to send them something to show your goodwill and that, hey, we're trying to get this paid off. OK, so in QuickBooks, it's very simple to do, but a lot of times people don't think about doing it. So what we're going to do, we're going to pay bills. OK, so. You can click right here on the home screen, of course, or you can go to vendors, uh, pay bills right here. All right. So we're going to click this and let's say we look at all these bills and we're like, oh my gosh, we got, you know, $47,000 worth of bills and we got to, we got to pay something. All right. So if you have a limited amount of money, let's say that you have, you know, 10,000 that you can pay bills. Of course, the first thing you want to do is, uh, you know, I, typically we'll look at the due date, you know, so I will uh, sort this um, by the due date. And uh, let's see, we'll say show all bills, sort by vendor, we're going to sort by due date, because we want to pay the earliest ones first, these are the latest ones. Uh, or it could be any other reason, you know, maybe you have some really important vendors and you say, hey, we need to pay them first. Okay, so you might need to allocate your money between the vendors. All right, so you're going to take the total amount you can pay and you're going to allocate it to which vendors you think you need to pay first. OK, all right. So to pay part of a bill, simply all you're going to do when you check off, let's say that we need to pay great statewide bank uh, and we want to pay some there, there, Davis. We've got a couple to bank of any city and Capital One Financial. So that right there, uh, let's say we got Larry Stevens and we'll pay this uh, a chung limited okay so we got 14,000 we want to pay now if you're going to pay a smaller amount all you need to do is go over to this amount to pay column highlight that and type in a different amount so for this one for example great statewide bank we're paying 4,000 uh, we'll pay the 150 on this one uh, let's say that we're going to pay 500 on this one thousand on that one 500 we can pay the 25 the 500 the 88 and on this one we want to pay 1750 okay so you go through you simply change those amounts all right so what i want you to notice we won't remember on every one but this great statewide bank we got six thousand dollars we're paying four all right so we're going to we'll say that these are to be printed we're going to print these checks and we're going to pay the select bills. Okay. All right. So, you know, we're going to print these checks. We're going to send these off and we've got partial bills paid. So now let me go back to pay more bills and show you what it does here. All right. So now you'll see great statewide bank. You still owe $2,000. So the good thing about this and about putting bills in QuickBooks and paying bills through QuickBooks is that it's going to keep track of what you still owe this vendor. So you still owe them $2,000. And you'll see these other vendors that we paid partial uh, amounts to. It's going to keep track of the amount you still owe them. Okay. So this very handy to come in to, to keep track of this. So again, if you need to pay partial bills, don't just stay silent, uh, waiting to get enough money to pay the bill. You can pay partial bills and it just shows goodwill to your vendors. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Head over to the QuickBooks University. It's not just about QuickBooks. It's about how to run your business better or if you work for a business, how to help the business owner run it better. Uh, teach you everything about QuickBooks. Answer your personal QuickBooks questions. Go through common practices for business uh, and all sorts of advice. Head over there now. Become a member 
and get all of these benefits, qbuniversity.org.